Progressive Investing Institute of Focused Learning. Private Practice of Dr. Christopher K. Slayton. Presence. Human Systems Science Meeting Session 1 September 14, 2025. Unlocking Human Systems Science, A Path to Child's Mental Health. Introduction. From the breath of life forward, Human Systems Science offers a comprehensive approach to understanding and supporting child mental health. By examining the interconnected systems that influence a child's development, this discipline provides valuable insights for parents, educators, and health professionals, Slayton 2012. The Importance of Systems Thinking Systems thinking, human systems thinking anchored by Dewey's concept of how we think, recognizes that children are shaped by multiple, interacting environments, including family, school, and community. By considering these systems together, rather than in isolation, we gain a clearer understanding of the factors that support or hinder a child's mental health. Applying Human Systems Science Unlocking the potential of human systems science involves identifying patterns and relationships within and between these environments. Making sense of these connections can guide more effective interventions and strategies for promoting how we think. Pathways to Improved Mental Health by using human systems science, stakeholders can develop pathways that address the root causes of mental health challenges. This approach encourages holistic solutions, fostering resilience and growth in sense and receive process learning. Understanding mental health through sense and receive path performance. Mental health can be understood as a broad concept that is defined by the effectiveness of our sense and receive path performance. This perspective emphasizes how children process and respond to the information and experiences they encounter in their environments. Sense and receive paths refer to the ways in which individuals perceive, interpret, and internalize inputs from their surroundings. The performance of these paths influences how children manage stress, form relationships, and experience help. By focusing on sense and receive path performance, we highlight the ongoing interactions between a child and their environment. This approach helps to explain why mental health is not just an internal state but a dynamic process shaped by external factors. Understanding mental health in this way allows for more targeted strategies to support brain learning, which ensures that interventions address both how children take in experiences and how they process them to support overall mental well-being. Get the book, Human Systems Science in the Best Interest of the Child's Mental Health and Self-Awareness. Reader Testimonial, it's a groundbreaking book. Reviewed in the United States on July 17, 2025 Verified Purchase. It's a groundbreaking book. It's incredibly helpful and it offers a new perspective on child behavior that goes beyond surface-level solutions. Join the new frontier in human systems science. For those interested in deepening their understanding of how human systems science can be applied to support children's mental health and self-awareness, consider exploring human system science in the best interest of the child's mental health and self-awareness. This book offers valuable insights into systems thinking and practical strategies for promoting resilience and well-being in children by examining the connections between individual experiences and broader environments. The Role of Self-Awareness in Addressing Mental Illness In the fight against mental illness, cultivating self-awareness stands as a central goal. By developing self-awareness, individuals, especially children, can better understand their thoughts, emotions, and reactions to the experiences they encounter. This awareness allows them to recognize early signs of mental health challenges, enabling more effective management and support. Key Contexts for Developing Self-Awareness Self-awareness plays a vital role in how children navigate different environments and respond to the challenges they encounter. Four primary contexts illustrate the importance of self-awareness in a child's daily life. Living at home. Children learn how to interact with family members, manage personal responsibilities, and adapt to the dynamics within their household. Developing self-awareness in this context helps them understand their own needs and emotions as well as those of others. Learning at school. In educational settings, children are faced with academic expectations, social interactions, and group activities. Self-awareness enables them to recognize their strengths, address learning challenges, and build positive relationships with peers and educators. Thinking in the neighborhood The neighborhood presents a broader social context where children form perceptions about themselves and others. 
Through self-awareness, they can assess their thoughts and attitudes, make informed decisions, and understand their role within the community. Responding in the Workplace As children transition into workplace environments such as part-time jobs or internships, they encounter new expectations and responsibilities. Self-awareness helps them respond effectively to workplace situations, adapt to professional cultures, and manage interactions with peers. Addressing Social Challenges In each of these settings, children may face social challenges such as teasing, bullying, peer pressure, and the pressure to assimilate into groups or gangs. Developing self-awareness equips children to recognize these influences, understand their own reactions, and choose constructive ways to respond. By fostering self-awareness, children are better prepared to navigate complex social situations and protect their mental well-being. Fostering self-awareness helps children identify the ways in which their environment influences their mental state. Through this understanding, they can build resilience and adopt strategies that support the neurophysics of self. Ultimately, self-awareness empowers children to actively engage in their own mental health journey, making it a critical component in overcoming mental health challenges. The New Frontier in Human Systems Science The new frontier in human systems science serves as a preparation process that prioritizes the child's neural development as a human system. This approach emphasizes the importance of nurturing neural growth to support the child's brain, body, and sense awareness. Developing Neural Awareness A key component of this process is cultivating neural awareness, which involves developing a sense of self through an understanding of the connections between the brain and body. By fostering this sense of feel for oneself and one's experiences, children can enhance their ability to recognize and interpret the signals from their own brain and body systems. Neural Sensing and Processing – Foundations of Brain's Body Learning Systems The things you sense neurologically, the things you feel neurologically, and the things you process neurologically all contribute to the formation of the brain's body learning systems. These interconnected aspects, sensing, feeling, and processing, play a fundamental role in how the brain and body communicate and we learn from these experiences. Neurological sensing refers to the brain's ability to receive and interpret signals from both internal and external environments. This sensing lays the groundwork for awareness and response to various stimuli. Neurological feeling encompasses the emotional and physical responses generated by these signals, shaping our perceptions and reactions. Neurological processing involves the integration and interpretation of what is sensed, felt, and experienced, which allows for meaningful ways to learn and adapt. Together, these elements establish the brain's body learning systems, which are essential for self-awareness, resilience, and the overall development of mental well-being in children. By understanding and recognizing these neural processes, children can better navigate their environments and actively participate in their own growth and health. Human Systems Science Toolkit The Human Systems Science Toolkit offers a comprehensive framework designed to nurture children's neural development and mental health. The toolkit consists of four key components, each supporting the child's journey toward greater self-awareness and resilience through the integration of brain and body learning systems. 1. Learning the Brain's Body This component focuses on helping children understand the connection between their brain and body. By learning how these systems interact, children can become more aware of the signals their bodies send and how these signals influence their thoughts, feelings, and actions. This foundational knowledge supports how they manage emotion, control thought, and process reflection as pragmatic consequential learning process loops. 2. Brain Talk Brain Talk introduces children to the language used to describe brain and body experiences. By giving children the tools to articulate what they sense, feel, and process neurologically, Brain Talk empowers them to better communicate their internal experiences and needs. This shared language fosters greater understanding between children and their caregivers or educators. 3. Dr. Slayton Live Reflective Storytelling Reflective storytelling guided by Dr. Slayton Live encourages children to express their lived experiences. Through storytelling, children reflect on their neural awareness and the connections between their brain and body. This process enhances their ability to process and make sense of experiences, promoting emotional growth and self-knowledge. For human systems science in the best interest of the child, a path to child's mental health. This final component highlights the application of human systems science as a pathway to supporting children's mental health. 
By integrating the previous elements of the toolkit, this approach ensures that every step is taken in the best interest of the child. The focus remains on fostering neural growth, resilience, and well-being, equipping children with the tools necessary for lifelong health and success. Conclusion In Session 1, Unlocking Human Systems Science provided a valuable path forward in supporting child mental health. By embracing human systems thinking, how we think, we can create more effective, informed, and compassionate strategies to help children learn, live, think, and respond to the crisis of self.